Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I'm back in my standard vertical recollections planner to plan using the Summer Forever kit from Sugar Pop Fizz. I use a mini kit and then I did not add on the deco pieces for the first time. And I just wanted to try it out. I felt like the pattern of the like date headers were pretty bold. So um, I didn't want to crowd it too much. And like I said, I just wanted to try it out. You know, you never know until you try. And I can successfully report back saying that I actually kind of liked it. It gave some breathing room. And I feel like because Sugar Pop Fizz kits have um, really bold, like she uses the bottom washi for the date, like whatever that pattern is for the date headers, which I do love, like absolutely love. Um, because I feel like it brings this cohesive structure to the top and bottom of my spreads. And I feel like because they tend to be really fun patterns that you don't need deco. So I did it again next week and I think that will kind of be maybe my new thing. And I'm happy about that. Plus it saves me a couple extra dollars. And who doesn't love that? Um, I did decide to pull in some Simply, Gild Simply Gilded Washi that is purple with hollow bows. But it has like a galaxy pattern a little bit. And then the like has like really pretty you know, ombre of some purples and some blues background. And I just feel like it fits literally so perfectly with this spread. You'll see it in a little bit. And I'm so happy that I was able to pull it in because it is pretty niche because of the like galaxy tendency, but that works with this kind of theme of this kit. And yeah, I just love this kit. I love the colors. It's such a unique color palette and it's just a great way. I just feel like it was a great August kit because it's summer, but it's not super bright, but gives a lot of the same elements and um, yeah, I'm just here for it. So this week I didn't have too much to pre-plan, so it will go pretty fast, but I did decide to color block and I'm not sure if you'll see it on camera or if I decided afterwards, but I did put down some sparkly hollow bougie boxes and, um, yeah, that's, oh, and I did bring in a extra box from my collection from the Crest Press, um, Cyber Monday Mystery. You see me putting it down right here, but I just feel like the colors worked so well that I honestly kind of forgot that it wasn't part of the kit. <laughs> the little date dots that I'm adding are from Kinsey's Creations, I think, which her shop is no longer open, but I did that off camera to make sure I had the right dates. And you can see right here, I'm doing my classic where I bumped the date headers all the way against the glitter headers. And then I went back and I like spaced it up and that kind of helped fill in the gap a little bit more and I'm I'm glad it worked out. You can see, oh yep, here we're doing it on camera. <laughs> Anyways, this week was a really like really good week. It was really eventful. It was my last week of summer school, which means it was my last week working for the school district that I've been working at for five years. And um, I feel like teaching summer school was like a great closure because you get to connect with the kids, but they are not from your homeschool. They're coming from all over. So it's kind of like a great way to teach and learn different skills, work with different people, work with different kids and all that stuff. But it's, you know, it's only four weeks, so you don't get too emotionally attached for lack of better words. So it was a good way to kind of end and still have a good time and make some extra money. And then I turned in my keys and my laptop on Friday and it was like crazy. So, um, it just felt like, a really big step. And then um, I have two weeks of vacation until I start my next job. So this weekend we went to the lake, which has been really fun. And um, I feel like it just kind of like added to the whirlwind of the week. We also got together with some friends, which was fun on Friday night. And we did s'mores outside and I got like a million bug bites, which is weird because I've never gotten, last year I got my very first bug bite as an adult. Like, I mean, for like forever, I've never gotten a bug bite until last year. So then it was super weird going out and getting like 10 in one night, but that's adulthood. So I've heard <laughs> this week, we also met up with my husband's grandma, which was fun. And she took us out to Mod Pizza. We, um, took a lot of like Sadie 
snuggles, I guess I should say, and just kind of like hanging out this week. And um, I watched a lot of Love Island. And um, because this upcoming week is the finale, or next week, I should say. Oh, I watched a really good movie on Netflix. It's called Purple Hearts. If you like rom coms, it's for you. It's pretty cute. And I really enjoyed it. So. Yeah, I feel like this week has been really good. I feel like there was something else I was going to share about. Oh, I also got interviewed by my school district this week to go on their, like, I don't know if it's like a district newsletter or social media. I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if I'll ever find out because I'm not part of the district anymore. But that was kind of cool and, like, unexpected. She took some photos of, like, my classroom and of, like, my summer school kids and got, like, interviewed with some questions, so... Like I said, I'm not sure. Hopefully it all like went well. My email got cut off on Friday. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it went through and all is good. But it was definitely kind of like a cool, exciting moment as like my last final days there, which I don't think the lady realized that um, (laughs) when she was interviewing me and I didn't tell her. But Long story long, I am marking school with these paper milk backpacks, which I totally got on a whim on her closing sale, thinking they'd be too big or that they'd be kind of weird colors. Sure enough, perfect size, especially for these square boxes, and also perfect colors. They match a lot more than I thought they would, and they're so cute. So I really hope, I know she soft launched her shop reopening um, since she moved, but these were not in the shop, so I didn't place an order. But when they go back in the shop, I will be picking up some more because they're really cute. And then I pulled in a lot of these McPlans Font 1 scripts, which if you didn't already know, she's having a 20% off sale this weekend with her new fall releases. And they are so cute. She like revamped some of like her classic and favorite and well-loved stickers. And then she has just like other fun fall releases. And it's just a really good variety so if you're looking for um some new stickers or a new shop to try out definitely check out mcplans i will have her link below like i always do and you can also put my name in the notes to get my extra freebie if you don't um order during the sale you can use my code gen20 to save 20 percent off as well and that's the same for sugar pot fizz you can use gen20 to save 20 percent off as well as well as well <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it for my pre-planning. So let's hop in to see how the spread turned out. I am so obsessed and cannot wait to show you. So yes, let's jump to it right now. All right, here is the finished spread. Trying to pick up some of that hollow foil. I had a really eventful week this week as I probably talked about in my voiceover but it was a really good week really fulfilling week um if you can already tell like my lighting and my setup is a little different because I'm on vacation we're over at the lake now for two weeks until I start my next job and um our dog went swimming for the first time which was adorable and I am missing a couple stickers because I was like some specific stickers that I left at home I left my like seasonal sticker album at home so I will get that I have like a sticky note to mark what I want to like put in and I will match that up but other than that another successful color blocking week and um one of my last summer spreads I only have one summer spread left so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video bye everyone